Hello friends and welcome back to Parsecs, 60 Parsecs. As I mentioned in another video, I'm not sure if that's gone up before this one, but I'm having to use my camera's mic because my lovely boyfriend decided it would be a great idea to accidentally break the lead cable, as you can see. Love a life. So I have no microphone. <laughs> So yeah, I take what well, I do have a microphone is sitting right there, but I have no means of like. I think that wire is running away. Um, has no, I have no means of like connecting it. We are back here today because Sebastian has asked me to do a. A couple of more videos, maybe it might be a couple of more videos, depending on the fact of how quickly I may die during what I do. So he's asked me if I can do Emmett's mission. I managed to actually get through this mission, which this is what we'll be doing today, by the way. If we do, if I manage to get through this, fair enough, okay. Great, that's one video done. However, if I die pretty early, I'm going to do a voyage here. And again, Sebastian wants me to show the scavenging part of the of the Voyager, so I'll do that if so. So here we go. We're gonna. I'm just rambling at this point. So we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna play this one. I didn't see my goals. <laughs> I'm so mad. Oh my god! <laughs> Is this what you wanted from me? <laughs> okay, hold on. Let me have a look at my quest. So my quest is to make five successful intelligent attribute decisions, collect 200 chemicals, don't lose any crewmates, which last time, by the way, my captain's goal was to keep all four members alive and I ejected Dee Dee because, I don't know, I think it was because something was wrong with the sh shuttle and then I lost. <laughs> Yay, Captain Ellis. Why, thank you, it knows my surname. <laughs> you are humanity's only hope in the struggle against alien plague. Only you can syn synthesize a cure, but to do so, you will need 200 units of extraterrestrial chemicals. Are you up to the challenge? Okay, so I guess this is why we're also sick. So I've landed. Awesome. Right. Now. I don't know if we can go robotofu exotic <laughs> the concept was fine you dove under the console with a lighter trying to illuminate the dark nest of twisted wires once you flipped open the lighter it turned into a pando pandemonium which involved burning your own hand cursing loudly hitting your head on the desk while attempting to stand up then falling on top of the control panel pressing random buttons with your butt while you flailed around like a headless chicken dd stepped in she whizzed past you plugged in a random cable and grabbed the controls can i do one of these okay let's let's have a look so you have you can give me rocks see i don't want to send them out because they're sick at the minute because i'm worried if i send them out while they're sick they're gonna die yeah you know what i'm gonna leave it another day oh it's difficult i have 25 days left to be able to do this i am so gonna fail <gasps> i got a new can of soup though so it's day five anyway people are gonna start getting hungry yeah see perfect timing <laughs> okay oh no captain one of the storage lockers is jammed and cannot be opened it gets it gets worse it's my favorite locker <laughs> sebastian uh, very kindly gave me a lot of information on the game itself and each character and even though there was a lot to take in i'm going to try and do my best to try and follow the information i was given pretty much anyone can be a traitor I am aware of that and I've just basically got to keep them on my good side to be able to do this. I've decided to send out April. I'm just hoping that she's going to be okay and that she can come back. I'm risking it though. I'm, I sent her off to the, um, to the one where we can get some rocks. I'm not sure if that helps anyone, but okay. Oh, what's that? A small robot's left a package just outside a shuttle and run off. Maybe it's a welcome gift. We should bring the package on board and check it out, Captain. It won't go to waste either either way, but I won't let it go to waste either way. But I must say, I find its context intriguing. Shall we open it? Yes, let's. And probably get blown up. <laughs> April returned from the nearby robot village. The place isn't big, just a few streets. Oh, look at all of this. Oh my god, we got a... Oh, that's from the thing. I was going to say we've got two socks now, but... 
that didn't sound good. <laughs> I don't have a book to smash them with. I have rats apparently on board, but I don't have a book to be able to smack them with. <laughs> oh my god, I, I, I just realised I made a med kit and I'm not using it. <laughs> Wait, what? You're hurt? By what? Sorry, did I hurt your feelings? <laughs> Where did I go? <laughs> oh no no no, where have I gone? Okay, so Didi came back. Didi seems to be okay. We've got some food, we've got some chemicals and all the rest of it. But where have I gone? Oh yeah. I, um, something about tic-tac-toe. <laughs> Yay. I suspect we have an alien in insertion, I think that's a situation on board. Uh, it's crewmate Angel. <laughs> I have registered her speaking in an alien language. She might be possessed by a species not unknown to us. Directive, approach her with caution and try to figure out what is wrong with her. Is this Angel? Yeah. I like her though. She's nice. I, I think she's speaking in an alien language because she's insane. <laughs> but I'm just going to assume that she's turned on us. I've not said anything in about 10 minutes because I just genuinely don't know what to say <laughs> like it's it's really hard to like can I not recycle that yeah you know what I'm gonna recycle this I mean it's broken anyway so.